now I'm going to talk about agent awareness models. And, and I'm going to start with a thinker. So if there's an actual attention mechanism in the brain that's pointing to this apple here, that changes the current representation of the world to include a lot of extra information about that apple. At the same time, the attention schema is pointing to that apple, and it's pointing to it from this self-model of the thinker, the I, me, my. So this is the model of awareness for the thinker, and the thinker might express this awareness in a sentence like, I, me, my, am aware of the apple. So that's the, the expressing it in words, is that I'm aware of the apple. Now for the, for the doer, the self-model is the body, and for the doer, it might be doing this in a sensory representation, in a feeling. So it's the feeling that the body is aware of the apple. So this is kind of the qualia, you know, like the, the, the awareness of the red in the apple there. That's the feeling of red that we're having in that apple there, that, that experience of, of red in the apple is the quality of red. Now, the, the, for the experiencer, the self-model is the attention schema. But an attention schema pointing out an attention schema is equivalent to just attention schema. There isn't any self here. So the experiencer is an example of selfless awareness. I'm aware of the world without being aware of a self that's, that's aware of the world. And in, 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 in feelings, that would be represented as aware apple. It's not I'm aware of apple or my body's aware of apple. It's just awareness of apple is all that it is. Now, if you look at the, the information that you have here, you have the attention schema and the current representation of the world. By the world model equation, that has exactly the same information content as the world model. So the other way of experiencing this, uh, this, this selfless awareness is as if I'm just the world model itself. So the experience of aware Apple is essentially just awareness of the world. So we can summarize the three agent self models in this table here. And notice that wherever, wherever the attention schema is, that's where the word awareness is. So the attention schema is essentially another word for awareness. Now remember, the attention schema was the self-model of, of the experiencer. So if we go back to that table there, we can now substitute awareness. So think about that. Every time that you are aware of something in the world out here, you are experiencing your experiencer's self-model. Isn't that an amazing thought? you're actually experiencing that self-model of, of the experiencer whenever you're aware of something. And now we can say that the human will be some combination of those three self-models for the three different agents. Now returning to the awareness model table, we can convert this into a, a consciousness table of making the thinker, doer, and experiencer conscious. So the thinker consciousness would say in words, I'm aware of X. The doer consciousness would have body aware X, that feeling of being aware of X. And the experiencer would be aware X with no self or world model. Now let's look at agent self-awareness models when you're actually paying attention to yourself. And I'll start with a thinker, which is the I, me, my. So if you're paying attention to yourself here, you get that attention schema pointing from yourself back to yourself. And the experiencer would, would, would express this by saying, I am aware of me. Now for the doer, the self-model is the body. And so the doer would have the feeling, body aware of body. For the experiencer, the self-model is the attention schema. When you add the loop there, you end up with one big loop of attention schema pointing to itself. Now think about this. This is very unusual. You have a completely abstract concept here, which is now just pointing to itself. It's not pointing to anything else in the, in the conceptual world. You know, most concepts are, have a dense web of connections to other concepts in the, in the conceptual world. But you got a self-model here, uh, an aware, you have an abstract concept here, which exists all on its own. It definitely exists. Every time you pay, try to direct your attention to it, you see that it exists. And yet it does not have a location in space. There's no location in space associated with this. So maybe this is what religions are talking about when they talk about the soul, the human soul, is this loop of, of attention schema. It's a, it's a loop of awareness of awareness. Now, how would that feel? You have something that definitely exists but has no location. I think the word that comes to mind would be presence. There's a presence here from that loop of attention schema. And the other way of expressing that is that I'm aware of awareness. It gives you that presence. A lot of people would also express this as stillness because the thinker and doer self-awareness models can still think and do things. But the experiencer doesn't do anything except direct attention. And when attention is directed only to itself, 
there, it's not even directing attention to different objects. So this has stillness. Now, now let's take a look at being aware of an object and being aware of your awareness of that object. So here the actual attention is directed to an object and it's directed to our awareness of that object. This would end up giving you a loop of attention schema with a, with a branch off to the object that you're aware of. So the feeling of this would be something like presence awareness, because it's the awareness of the object that I'm, that I'm paying attention to and presence with that loop.